Hello and welcome. This lab we will be performing a particle size analysis of soil using the hydrometer test method. This covers standards ASTM D421, 422, and AASHTO T88. This is to determine the gradation of materials finer than a number 200 sieve or 0.075 millimeter using a sedimentation process. We will need the following items to perform this test. An oven, mortar and pedestal, 152H hydrometer, three 1,000 milliliter cylinders, a thermometer, a dispersion cup, and apparatus. Something similar to a milkshake maker. Distilled water and water bottle, and a dispersion agent, sodium hexametaphosphate. The first thing we need to do is to prepare our soil. Depending on the percent of fines passing the number 200 screen, will determine the amount of soil we need for this test. Typically, you will use between 50 and 100 grams. Note, this test can be combined with mechanical sieve analysis when there are coarse materials in the sample. For this test, we'll be using a 50 gram sample. We will first put it into the oven to dry it out and then break it up using our mortar and pedestal so that it passes the number 10 screen. We will take a 50 gram representative sample of material and place it into a cup. We have already mixed up a 4% solution of sodium hexametaphosphate with distilled water to use as a dispersion agent for the soil to break it down to its smallest particle size. We will add 125 milliliters of solution to our material and let it soak for at least 16 hours. While we are waiting, we will set up two 1,000 milliliter cylinders for this test. One will have tap water in it to clean off the hydrometer, and the other will be used as a control to get temperature and to get a specific gravity correction due to the addition of the sodium hexametaphosphate. We will also use it to get a meniscus correction. Due to the turbidity, we cannot read the bottom of the meniscus, so we will read the top and correct back to the bottom. The next day, we will take our sample and pour it into our mixing cup, being careful not to spill any. Then we will fill the cup up about half full and place it into the mixing apparatus and mix it for one minute. Then we will take our squirt bottle with distilled water and clean off any soil that is stuck to the apparatus, again being careful not to lose any. We will then take the sample and pour it into the cylinder that we will be using for the test, being careful not to spill any. Once the material is in the cylinder, finish filling it with distilled water to just below the 1000 milliliter mark. We are finally ready to run the test. With the palm of your hand, hold it over the opening of the cylinder and you will invert it every second for one minute. This will mix up the sample and get all of the particles in suspension. 
At the one minute mark, you will set it on the countertop, clean off your hand and side of the cylinders back into the sample. This should finish filling the cylinder up to the 1000 milliliter mark. Then place the hydrometer slowly into the solution. As this test is based on the settlement rate of the particles and the hydrometer drops as a specific gravity changes, we need to be careful to disturb the sample as little as possible. We will be taking the readings by doubling our times until 1440 minutes. We would like to get a 15 second reading, but this is sometimes hard to do. But we do want to make sure and get a 30 second reading. The rest of the readings will be as follows. 1 minute, 2 minutes, 4, 8, 15, 30, and 60 minutes. 120, 240, 480, and 1440 minutes. This will be plotted on a logarithmic scale. We will leave the hydrometer in place up to the two minute reading and then remove it and clean it off in our clean off cylinder then place it back into our control cylinder. Remember to check the temperature after each reading. Then after each reading we will take it out and repeat the cleaning process. We do not leave it in the test cylinder because we do not want material to accumulate on top of the hydrometer. We will continue this process through our last readings. After we have completed all of our readings, we will take it out and pour the material over a 200 sieve and wash out all the fines. The material remaining on the 200 screen will be placed in the oven and dried to get the percent of material retained on the number 200 screen. That concludes this lab. For additional information, please refer to the student lab manual and get help from your TAs.